Hello and welcome to Tennis Training Course Lesson 6 3D Result Evaluation. As we move from 2D to 3D simulations, the results and possible manipulations change slightly as well. In this video, we will take a look at how to evaluate and manipulate results of a simple 3D case turbine blade heating. When the calculation is done, result window with the obtained results will be visualized, and such a window will appear. As we have a full 3D geometry, we can see the system calculated and visualized in the middle of our screen. With your mouse, you can very nicely zoom, rotate or move the system to visualize it from every angle. Here on the left is the object browser, where you can easily enable and disable visibility of different objects, in case you want to focus on only one of them. Right now we see that the temperature is being visualized in the blade, and the temperature scale is right here in the corner. But that is not everything that we can see. In the physics dropdown up here, we can see different physics, such as magnetic field, current density or microstructure. And we can visualize all of them. For example, we can visualize the current density simply by selecting it like this. The results in Cenos are dynamic, meaning that you can not only see the end result, but also the dynamics of the process. You can manipulate the animation from up here. If you click play, then you can dynamically see how your part is heating up. These are the visual results which you can use to evalu evaluate the heating dynamics and temperature profile and other aspects of the visual process. In addition to this, you can also access the time charts right here, where you can find things like power consumption, either for the whole system or each of the system parts separately, or applied inductor current, inductance and voltage. Results in here can be manipulated in many different ways. You can visualize the hardened profile, microstructure changes, electromagnetic field, current directions and a lot more. For such turbine blade heating system or for any heating application actually, we are primarily interested in the temperature field analysis. First of all, it is quite interesting to take a look inside the blade to see how deep the heat penetrates the material. We can do that by either clipping or slicing our workpiece. Both of these options can be found right here on the top. Clip, which is the first one, essentially cuts off some part of the workpiece. When you select it, you see a clipping plane. In the properties window here, you can change the normal of the plane like this, or just simply change the position by manually dragging it. Once done, click apply. As you see, the clipping plane remains visible. So, disable it in the properties right here. As with every filter here in Paraview, current density is visualized by default. So, switch it back to the temperature. Slice is very similar to clip, but instead it slices the geometry, not cuts off some part of it. When you select it up here, you see a slice plane. In the same way, you can change the normal of the plane or position by directly dragging it, like this. Once done, click Apply. As you see, the slicing plane also remains visible, so you need to disable it as well. Change the current density to temperature, and you are done. You have successfully created a two-dimensional slice in the same way as we previously did with the clipping. For deeper temperature evaluation, you can actually measure the temperature at different points or draw a temperature plot over line. Let's start with the first one. To measure the temperature at one specific point, you need to define this point first. You do that by clicking the select point option right here and putting a point anywhere on the surface, for example here. Now you just enable the plot selection over time filter, which is located right here and click Apply. Here we can see all the physical values available at this specific point. As we are interested only in the temperature, we go down here to the Properties window and we deselect everything but the temperature.
We can put as many points as we want and we can visualize them all in the same graph so that we could compare the temperatures between them very easily. Note that this filter you can use on full geometries as well as on clippings and slices. If you want to draw temperature plot over line, you just need to select the plot over line filter right here. Then just simply adjust the line like this and click apply. As before, disable everything but the temperature and you get a very nice temperature graph over line. This as well as the previously discussed graphs can be exported as table values. Just select the appropriate plot in the object browser, go to files and save data. Find the place where you want to save it, give it a name, click OK and click OK again. This is the end of the sixth lesson, where we learned on how to evaluate 3D turbine blade heating simulation results with Xenos. Thanks for watching!